For years after the Second World War, many Poles abroad were convinced that a Third World War was imminent, and they were ready to pick up their arms again because they felt this was the only way they could free Poland from communist rule. However, as the Cold War maintained the status quo, their fears of having to fight again faded away, so too did their hopes of a free Poland. However, the one institution that gave them hope was the church. Coming here gave them a sense of identity. Coming here was also an act of defiance because of course religion was banned by the USSR. So it's not surprising that this church in West London, St Andrew Babolas, was fondly called the garrison because coming here, Poles felt protected. St. Andrew Bobola Church has stained glass windows which tell the story of the Polish soldiers fighting on the Western Front of World War II. One of them shows the Polish 1st Armoured Division under the command of General Maciek, which became famous for its activities in the north of France in the summer of 1944. Subsequently, General Maciek's division took part in the liberation of Belgium and the Netherlands from the German occupation and earned the love and respect of both countries. General Maciek himself received honorary citizenship of the Netherlands. At this altar, a few items are displayed that were recovered from cutting where 22,000 Poles were murdered on Stalin's orders. And this icon of the Holy Mary was carved by a Polish prisoner of war who was interned at the Kozielsk POW camp. Here at this church, Poland's troubled past caught up with recent tragic events. On his way to mark the 60th anniversary of cutting in Western Russia, the Polish president Lech Kaczynski was killed in a plane crash. On board were nearly a hundred people, including Reverend Canon Bronisław Gostomski, the much-loved parish priest here. Now, even though the Nazis were defeated, for the 250,000 Poles who fought valiantly during the Second World War on the Western Front, well, they felt that they had lost. They were unable to return home because the Iron Curtain divided up Europe. They thought the only way they could go back is to fight again in a Third World War. That is how much they longed for a free Poland.